Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this problem, I'll show you how to calculate the standard free energy change for a reaction from standard free energy of formation values that you would look up in a table. And I'll also talk about the difference between the standard free energy change, or delta G naught, and the standard free energy of formation, or delta GF naught. And in order to hit on these two points, I have two calculations to do. So the first one asks you to calculate the standard free energy change for the precipitation of ammonium nitrate from ammonium and nitrate ions in pure water at 25 degrees Celsius using standard free energies of formation, or delta GF naught values. And you look up these values in a table. So first of all, the reaction that we're dealing with here is where ammonium in aqueous form and nitrate in aqueous form form the precipitate ammonium nitrate in solid form. You can find the delta G naught or the standard free energy change for this reaction by taking the sum of the delta GF naught, or the standard free energy of formation of the products, and subtract from that the standard free energy formation values for the sum of the reactants. So in this case, the values that you need are standard free energy of formation for ammonium nitrate solid, and that's your product, and you're going to subtract from that the sum of those values for the reactants. So in this case, you have standard free energy of formation for ammonium in aqueous form plus the standard free energy of formation for nitrite, nitrate in aqueous form. And if you look these values up in a table, what you'll end up with is negative 184 minus a negative 79.4 plus a negative 111.3. And if you do the math, you'll end up with a value of 6.7 kilojoules per mole for your standard free energy change value. Now for the next problem, you're asked to do something similar to find the standard free energy change for a reaction that results in the formation of ammonium nitrate solid, but in this case you have different reactants. So you're going to do something similar and you're going to look up the standard free energy of formation values in a table in order to solve for the standard free energy change. So using the same equation as above, but you're going to substitute in different values. So what you're going to do is take 2 times the standard free energy of formation for ammonium nitrate solid, and in this case, you need to multiply that value by 2 because the stoichiometric coefficient for ammonium nitrate in this reaction is 2. And you're going to subtract from that 2 times the standard free energy of formation for nitrogen gas, again multiplying that by 2 because the stoichiometric coefficient in the balanced chemical equation is 2, plus 4 times the standard free energy of formation for hydrogen gas, and the stoichiometric coefficient for hydrogen gas in this reaction is 4, and then the stoichiometric coefficient for oxygen gas is 3, so 3 times the standard free energy of formation for oxygen gas. So you look up all of those values in a table, and what you'll have is 2 times negative 184.0 minus 2 times 0 plus 4 times 0 plus 3 times
times 0. And when you do the math there, you'll be left with negative 368.0 kilojoules per mole. Notice that this value is different than the standard free energy change value from your first problem. <clears throat> so to find the standard free energy of formation from the standard free energy change value that you just found for the second problem for the formation of ammonium nitrate from nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas, and oxygen gas, what you need to do is divide that value by 2. So the standard free energy of formation for ammonium nitrate will be equal to negative 368.0 kilojoules divided by 2, and that's going to give you negative 184.0 kilojoules per mole. And as you can see, this number is equal to the standard free energy of formation value that you substituted initially into the equation for ammonium nitrate. So why is this? Well, it's because of two things. First of all, the standard free energy of formation is defined for one mole of a substance. So you, you found the standard free energy change for ammonium nitrate to be negative 368.0 kilojoules, and that was for two moles of ammonium nitrate, if you look back at the stoichiometry of the balanced chemical equation. So if you divide that number that you found, negative 368.0 kilojoules, by two, you'll find the value for one mole of the substance. And that's part of the definition of delta GF naught, or the standard free energy of formation. The other thing that defines delta GF naught is that it's for the substance that was formed by the most stable forms of its constituent elements. So what that means is the constituent elements are all the elements that make up a substance. So in this case, you have nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen making up the ammonium nitrate. The most stable forms of those elements are nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas, and oxygen gas. And you know this because when you look up the standard free energy of formation values for those three gases, you get values of zero, as you can see in your equation where you substituted in values. So a, a standard free energy of formation value of zero indicates that that is an element in its most stable form. So in summary, the delta GF naught, or the standard free energy of formation value, is defined for one mole of a substance and for, for when that substance is formed from the most stable forms of its constituent elements. And the most stable forms of elements have delta G of formation values of zero. So that's the difference between the delta G value that you calculated for the first problem and the delta G value you calculated for the second problem.